Welcome back everyone, my name is Chris and this is Designs One. This video is going to be a short video and it's just about how to install and use fonts within Photoshop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and go to File New to create a new file. We're just going to call this font test doesn't matter what size it is I'm just gonna hit OK here alright now we're presented with a blank screen now um, to install a font basically we need to first download the font um, and I'm not gonna really go over how to download the font just because there are several uh, websites you can download fonts for free on the internet. All you need to do is go into Google um, and search for a font that you like. Um, you can just go to any of the free font sites and just download them. They usually end up on your um, computer after you download them as a zip file and then so we'll pick up from that point and then um, I'll show you how to install them in Photoshop. So after you download a font basically you're gonna see them usually you'll see them in your downloads folder um, in this case I have already moved mine to another folder where I keep my fonts and I'll I'm gonna pull that up here for you so on my computer outside of Photoshop I've got a zip file and it looks like this this is the exact font I downloaded it's called road uh, road rage to extract the font, basically it's it's zipped up, it's so it's compressed, and and they do that for um, distribution reasons, so they can save out, they can save several files and, and distribute them faster. So that's why they're zipped, if you're not aware. But all you need to do to extract the font is right click and go to extract all, and then extract it and you can tell it where you want to extract the file to. In this case I just had it so it uh, saved it in the same folder that uh, I was in before. So now that it's extracted you can tell instead of it saying compressed for the type right here it's just a, a normal looking folder. So at this point I can just go ahead and double click on the folder and inside the folder they usually include the text I'm sorry, the, the font file itself, and then um, if there's any other um, text files or readme files such as this one in there, you're not typically going to mess with those. You can read them if you'd like, or if you need to know some kind of a... If the font is packaged differently with special instructions to install or licensing, um, you may want to look through that to make sure that the font you're using is not... Um, licensed in a way that you need to pay for it um, or, or handle it in a different way but in this case I'm just using a strictly free font um, and there's there's ways you can sort and um, just find the free fonts when you're on those font websites that I'm not gonna go over just because every websites gonna handle that differently just uh, make sure you when you download it that you know what you're handling and the, the fonts that you're using are uh, um, properly dealt with so alright so now that we've got the font here and the folders open all we need to do is double click on the font and um, in Windows you'll see this screen this is just going to show you an example of the font and the different sizes that uh, you can use um, and right here all you need to do is click install and and it actually jumped over to my other screen here but um, I already have the font installed, so it's just asking me if I'd like to replace it. Um, and, and in your case, you would probably just have a install progress bar, and it would just install. I'm going to hit yes here to install it. All right, so at that point, we know that it's installed. The install button is grayed out, so we can just close this screen. And now that our font is installed, we can close those out, and we can test the font. So let's go do our text tool and for this test let's let's say let's use a 85 size font size just put it 
near the center and now I'm going to down or click on this down arrow up here to choose the font. And we'll remember this font was called Road Rage, so now we see it in the list as Road Rage. Now if you had this list already pulled up, if you had your font tool already pulled up, you may need to close out of Photoshop um, and come back in. I think there's a way to refresh it within Photoshop as well, but uh, in my case, all I did was reselect the, the font tool and um, the font is there. So um, let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm just going to type in an example or sample there. And then here are some other tools that we can use um, to tweak the fonts. There's our um, character um, paragraph panel that we've got here. We can, you know, we can still adjust the the boldness, the to make it italic here. You can you can still play with all the settings, um, you know, to stretch the font in different ways and, and whatnot. So you'll just have to make sure that the fonts that you're downloading are are licensed in um, the way you use the fonts. Some fonts require that you use that you can only use them um, for personal use and not commercial use and, and things like that. That's all there is to installing fonts. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and uh, click the like button. And for those of you who enjoyed this video um, and aren't currently subscribed, make sure you do so. That way you see all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.